Greatest headlines of the century. Headline India, August 15th, 1947. In a moment, the story. India's battle for independence from the British Empire had been a pressing problem since the early years of the 20th century. Mohandas K. Gandhi, spiritual leader of millions of Hindus, had waged a passive war for several decades before the negotiations were to take a favorable trend. At the conclusion of World War II, Great Britain offered an autonomous state of existence to all of India, leaving the door open for complete independence later. Gandhi and his protege Nehru met with the English delegation and declared that such a situation would be unsatisfactory. They demanded complete withdrawal of all British control. Then on March 14, 1946, England offered complete independence. The years of unrest could now be brought to a close, but the problems facing such a course were many. The Asian country for centuries had been divided into two major religious groups, the Hindus and the Muslims. Now that complete freedom was within their grasp, the two religious philosophies clashed violently. Mohammed Ali Jinnah, head of the powerful Muslim League, argued for a separate Muslim state of Pakistan. Great Britain had vetoed the partitioning at first as being completely unfeasible, but the threat of uncontrolled civil war forced Prime Minister Attlee's government to reverse the official thinking on the matter. February 20th, 1947, found Lord Mountbatten, a staunch advocate of partitioning, replacing Lord Wavell as the Viceroy of India. At the same time in separate assemblies, the Muslim League and the Hindu Confederation finally accepted the British offer of independence of the two separate states of India and Pakistan. August 15, 1947, found the partitioning going into effect. Almost two million people had to be evacuated from one state to the other, as the partitioning line found Muslims living in the Hindu state and Hindus residing in the new Muslim state. Hungry and homeless refugees set up housekeeping in the streets of the major cities. Bewildered, they waited helplessly for someone to take care of them. Violence flared up over the partitioning in both India and Pakistan. Traditional, centuries-old hatred between the two major faiths brought to a boil this dissension over the new boundaries and took a toll of countless lives. Although Pakistan had chosen complete independence from Britain, India chose complete sovereignty with the symbolic retention of the king as a trademark of the free association of the Commonwealth members. The new Indian president, Rajendra Prasad, solemnly took his oath of office. To him and his Prime Minister Nehru now fell the unenvious task of leading their nation through the bramble-strewn path that lay ahead. India had received its long-sought independence, but it knew too well that the problem of retaining its freedom and healing its fierce domestic rifts would prove a larger battle still.